about 350 degrees on the EGT just because I uh, high idle and the, with the exhaust brake on. It really helps warm these things warm these things up in the winter. Tuning Buddy's truck today, and uh, he wanted a little more boost, so I gave him my boost controller off my truck. I figured I just built a new one, but I wanted to go test right now and just see how much boost I could make with stock wastegate settings. But I mean, my ECU is tuned, obviously. But I just want to see how much it allows me to get to here, and then I'm going to test a few things to see how I can get more. So here we go. So like 30 pounds, so it's really all I can uh, get on stock wastegate settings here. Yeah, so like 30 pounds, if that, that's, that's all it'll let me do. I'll try one more here. Yeah, 30 pounds. Alright, I squeezed this thing in here. Uh, let's see if we can see what I'm talking about here. It's like that thing right there. There's like an arm going off it to a valve on the back of the turbo. I think I'll pull this thing off so you can see what we're doing better, but... Basically all it does is as you get up to boost, the boost opens a valve bypassing exhaust around the outside of the turbo and like out out the exhaust just so it holds you at a steady boost pressure like how you saw on the gauge it went to about 30 pounds and it would just stop because that valve has been opened and it's bypassing the turbo so I'll pull it off and I'll show you what I mean yeah okay now we got this thing out of the way you can see this is the wastegate right here this is like a rubber diaphragm in the middle here and then as it sees boost from this line it pushes this way against a spring, and then there's a there's an arm down there that goes to the it's on the back. Can you really see it? But there's a valve back there that just bypasses the exhaust around past the turbine and out. So there's a little elbow right here. Let's see if I can see it right there. If I pull him out and just modify him a little bit, then we can change the amount of boost pressure that goes through this line and what the wastegate sees. And then we can allow it to open at maybe 40 pounds instead of 30, which allows you to put more fuel in. Whoa. All right, there we go. This is the... Uh thing we're going to modify here. Turbo's on this side, boost goes through here, this way to the wastegate. So, if you drill a small hole on one side and then you put a bolt in it and cut off flow, then if the flow is less than the hole, then there's going to be zero pressure at the wastegate. So you can dial it in and allow you to just have just a small amount bleeding off and then the wastegate opens it wherever you want. There's better ways to do it with a spring and a check ball, but this just works for anybody because this is already in the truck. You can just pull it out and build it. So I'll show you. Alright, so I got this bolt I found in my bolt bin and it just fits in there just perfect. So I know it, can, it has the possibility to seal off 100% of the flow. So I found a, bolt, a drill bit, and I'm just going to drill straight through so it's nice and straight with that, so I can hopefully seal it with that bolt. And then I'll tap this side so I can like screw the bolt in with a set screw, and then I'll have to drill a small hole as well. So I'll just get this drilled and tapped first. So here I have now a 90 with a bolt tapped into it, it's adjustable. And when it's all the way in, it cuts off the flow 
Now you could put this in your truck right now, and if you had this all the way in, you would have 100%, like the waste gate would be disabled completely, you'd have as much boost as the turbo can make. But you need to be able to have it adjusted a bit. You need to have the waste gate a bit, because you can overspool the turbo and it's not good for the turbo and there's lots of high drive pressures so it's, you could possibly blow your head gasket too. So if you just open this a little bit and there's a little bit flow coming through here then it's probably going to open a little bit later but then it'll probably bleed straight back down to 30 pounds again because there's because it'll still have the same amount of pressure it'll just take a little bit longer to get there. So if you put a little hole in here too then it constantly has to overcome the hole to be able to open the wastegate. So then it allows you to just dial it in. It's, it's really sensitive. It's a quarter turn at a time, it changes the readings, but it does work and it allows you to adjust it in right from stock boost up to completely unlimited. So I just drill another little hole in somewhere around here, maybe right here or something. It just needs to be on the wastegate side of this 90 because the turbo is over here and the waste gets over here so it has to be on this side so i'll do that now all right i got this thing all done here i got the little hole drilled in it on the the wastegate side and then the bolt blocking off the flow you can see it's blocking off 100 percent of the flow so now if you put it in your truck at this point it would be max boost because I have 100% of the flow blocked off. And that turbo would spool as much as it possibly can and overspool and it wouldn't be good for it. But yeah, so you put it in like that and then I'll go take it for a drive and I'll show you how much boost it makes. And then from there, you just need to work with it and you need to turn it out, pull it, I can't turn it, I locked it in there. But yeah, you just undo it a bit more and you'll get less and less boost until you find a good safe level. And uh, I've been running like 45 pounds in this thing and like 25 degrees of timing for like a couple months and I haven't had any issues with that and I don't have head studs as you can see no head studs so yeah I would run run these things at 45 pounds all day long and not worry at all well there we go it's in just exactly the same as it was before but now we just have an adjustment point here, and then you can get it where you want it, and then put the lock, lock nut down, and you're good to go. And uh, yeah, I'll probably just start with it all the way cranked in, and see what it gives me, and then I'll go out from there. Probably recommend doing it the opposite way to that, but yeah. Give it a go, see how it goes, but I probably wouldn't recommend doing it if you're on stock tune because the ECU cuts fuel at like 37 PSI or something like that. I'm going to show you real quick. This is a stock map out of the truck, and then these numbers are like the fuel rate, so think of it like the throttle percentage of the engine. And then this is the boost over here, so at about 25 pounds of boost, before the wastegate opens, you're allowed to run. 140 fuel rate all day long, but at about 1800 RPMs, if you start going over 25 pounds of boost, more closer to 27, it's going to start limiting you there, limiting the amount of, amount of fuel you're allowed to put in. So it works really good for keeping the truck slow and safe, I guess, but I use this same table to limit the fuel down low, and then as you get more boost, then it opens it right up. So kind of the opposite way they use it from factory. And it works really well. But yeah, hopefully it teaches somebody something. All right, we're in the same spot here. Um, I'll start at lower RPM here. See how much boost we got this time. So about 40. Yeah, pretty much exactly what I expected. So there we go. That's how you turn up your boost on your Cummins. <laughs> I get 
push more, but I'm only in about third gear, just climbing up this hill really slow. So once you once you got more load on it on, a, on the highway and stuff like that, it's definitely going to push push a higher amount of boost, and you'll have to dial it down. And it'll take a little bit to to get it dialed in perfect, but yeah, there you go. It's really not that big a deal to do. Let's do one more quick little pull here.